Hey, what's up guys, BVHD here, back with episode 21 of Skill to Division 1, uh, season 2, uh, two games as always, um, and yesterday's topic was to, to with Alex Ferguson retiring, and the result I was speculating in the video as to who I think the next manager would be, and of course now, well, most of you will know this, and if you don't know this, then it's news, new news to you, I suppose, um, but David Moyes, one of the favourites, well, basically the favourite to get the job, um, is going to be taking over as manager for, at the end of the season uh, for United, which is obviously, um, I don't know, it's a good thing because he's a great manager. He's, he's done a lot for Everton. He's done, you know, a, done a lot of things for, for Everton with very, like a very small budget kind of thing. If you look at how, where he plays players, kind of players sometimes have to play out of position. Like Fellaini is an example of one. Um, like he's a really defensive midfielder, but you know he had to play further up the field um, and just stuff like that. You know he's, he is a class manager. He is obviously Everton doing really well on the table. They always tend to get in the top, you know, the top eight usually. Um, they're doing very well indeed. I'm not sure where they are at the moment. I think they're either fifth or sixth. But um, you know he always seems to do well with a limited amount of players that he gets. Obviously he's a very good manager at bringing in young, like he'll bring in unknown kind of players. Um, and make them into great players as well. That's just an exam. That's just what I think. You know, um, I can name. There's quite a lot of players he's done that with. You know, he's brought in um, Baines. I'm not too sure where Fellaini came from, but I'm pretty sure he brought like Fellaini himself. Uh, Pinar, obviously, who's moved back and forth be between Spurs and Everton. Um, you know, he's just a class manager, and he's, I just think he is the right guy for the job. But I just hope. I hope that it doesn't turn out, you know, with uh, the Woy Hudson, yeah, Woy, uh, with Liverpool, you know, how it went downhill and, it, you know, he couldn't handle the bigger club status kind of thing, didn't seem to be able to manage them very well um, and they seem to get, they got into quite a bit of trouble. I'm sure that won't be the case with um, David Moyes, but, you know, you never know what could happen, but uh, yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> I just hope that doesn't happen, basically. Um, so that's quite good. We do go off and make a signing. We get rid of Carlos Ed Eduardo up front, and we get uh, Jadson instead. You know, just under 9k, which isn't too bad in the 4 one 2 one 2 striker role. Um, and then we go in with a game against a very sweaty BPL team. You know, you just expect them now. I I'm not even surprised. You know what I mean? When you see them, you I just expect them every game. To be honest, over them. BBVA squads or just random teams. You never get. I've never come up against a nice hybrid. Very rare to do so. Anyway, um, and obviously, guys, you will know that team of the season is out at the moment. This is just a bit of a random, random, uh, random um, topic video kind of thing. It's a bit of mixed, a bit of everything in there. Um, but team of the season's out. I want to try and use the Enan. Is it um, the Turkish? in form he looks really good and we're going to try and get him into a hybrid the only problem is i've got literally no coins so i'm gonna to have to buy some ultimate team coins might buy some microsoft points might do a little pack opening for you guys let me know if you'd be interested in that um and obviously with david moyes coming to united you gotta think who's gonna to go to everton you know because that's also quite a big role to fill obviously not as big as ferguson's slot but um you know still quite a big role to fill and there's a lot of contenders out there that could that could be brought in to do the job um, I'm not really too sure. I've not heard anything on like favourites for that position. I've not heard anything at all about it to be to be quite honest. Um, so maybe you guys have a bit more information or knowledge on the subject. Maybe you would like to put that in the comment section down below. Because yesterday's video got a very like thanks to whoever watched it and liked it and all the rest of it. it, it that's brilliant. I do appreciate it. But it did get quite a poor response. Now I don't know if that's due to the fact that people only want to see team of the season videos at the moment or what, but. You know, one, I would, I haven't got the coins to do that, and two, I don't really want to do that because it's just like, it's just player reviews, squad builders, it's just the same thing all the time. I'd rather just stick to my series. I know I only ever seem to put up skill to Division 1, it's just because I don't have any time to do the other videos. But speaking of which, I should have the third episode of uh, Road to the Ultimate Skill Team out, hopefully tomorrow. So we'll look forward to that, guys. But let me know, what do you want to see? Um, I'm really a bit puddled as to what to put up really 
um, because I just obviously want to please you guys and maybe it was just an off day maybe just people just you know were on YouTube or whatever which is fair enough um, but that's the end of the video now guys and we did get promoted into Division 2 I hope you did enjoy the video subscribe if you're new around here 30 likes would be amazing and I will hopefully see you tomorrow cheers